back to my channel YouTube. Listen, I got a special surprise for today. So a little break from the cooking, but I wanted to do an unboxing and reveal of the espresso machine that we bumped up to. So we have a special guest today, my wifey, Cardio for Chocolate, AKA Miss Authorized, okay? So uh, basically what we wanted to do is we wanted to review this espresso machine. First, out of the box. Now, here's the thing. Before this machine, we had a Breville Barista. And I gotta admit, this thing lasted forever. Never died. So if you're new to espresso, I highly recommend this as a beginner machine. But we made a deal that when that espresso machine died, we would upgrade. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> we both really love espresso, especially myself. I like to weigh my beans. I'm really into pulling a perfect shot. It's part of my morning routine. It's very important to me. So with that being said, I went down the rabbit hole of digging deep of what type of espresso machine we should get and what would work for us. And the reason why I, and I, this is just an honest review. They, listen, Bizzera has not paid me, okay? This is not a sponsored post. The, this came out of my own bank account. This is our own money. And I think what's really important to note is I wanted to give you a upgraded review, a chef's perspective on this espresso machine. So three things to let you hold on to while you're watching this video. It's really user specific, okay? What, one thing that I will tell you, you it, has, it depends on your usage. A good example of that is this machine compared to a double boiler machine and a machine that it can be plumbed in, and I'll go into that throughout the video, is a huge difference in price. So. For me, I just drink my espresso straight up. No milk, no nothing, no fussy stuff. Just espresso, sometimes Americano. Now my wife on the other hand, she likes milk sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes. Like cappuccino milk is what I'm talking about. But usually she just goes for the splash and that's it, she moves, she moves on with her day. So for me, I couldn't justify getting a double boiler machine, meaning you can use the steamer and also pull a shot at the same time. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't host people, we don't have, you know, my kids aren't drinking espresso. It's just me and my wife and I drink straight up regular espresso. So that's why I chose to go with the smaller machine, okay? That's important to note because that's a huge, huge thing to, to realize. Like if you're gonna put this machine in a small cafe, if you're gonna do dinners, if you're hosting uh, events, if you have a lot of people over, then it's best to get a double boiler machine. I highly recommend that. Now, for the price and what you get, this machine was the best option, hands down. The number one sell for me as a chef on this machine, it is certified NSF. Now, to me in our world in the restaurant business, this is very important. And this certification means that it can go in the dishwasher, it can, it's graded for commercial use, meaning not a, no bacteria can pretty much build on it in any nooks and crannies, or pretty much means it's stainless steel and it's a cleanable surface. That is a nutshell of what NSF means. Now, with that being said, if you're gonna upgrade to a machine like this, you wanna get a grinder. Again, I went down the rabbit hole of getting a grinder. Now, listen, Betzera makes a great grinder, which is very, user-friendly and it's cost-effective, but it's not as good as this one right here. And this one was a step above, but there is one thing that I really liked about this one, the, I'm gonna call it the filet mignon, but that's not what it's called. <laughs> it's because it's silent. So it is very quiet. It's a very quiet grinder. So we, are, we unbox both of these together and we are going to do a first round test. And then one more thing before we go. I upgraded a lot of things on this machine. Two things, the olive wood, Okay, and then I also got the tamper and a leveler, which I think is very key in making a good espresso shot. And I also got a cup of coffee beans. I upgraded the cups and um, we're pretty much gonna go from there and we're gonna run this machine. I'm gonna put it on camera and I'll tell you my honest feedback from my first shot once I dial in my beans. And listen, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and click. Just go on down there, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like or the dislike. Hit that dislike twice for me, it's all good. And leave me a comment if you want me to review something that you've seen on the interwebs that you're a little suspect about. Now, this is just a review video, but you know, I really wanted to, I really wanted to get this on film. So, first things first, we're gonna open this guy. And sorry for all the fingerprints that are about to happen, but I wanna see what comes with it. Ooh, look at that, okay. It's pretty cool. A sheet of paper, kinda of tells you what to do here. Anti-splash pipe, okay. Look at this quarter filter, yo. Psst, dang. This Porter Fork filter is the real deal. Look at this. It's actually pretty amazing. Um, but I, just so you know, I upgraded to the bottomless Porter filter because I wanted to make sure that I'm pulling a really good shot. But I have two, so 
talk about this all day. Let's see the other stuff that came with it. Looks like we have two other baskets. This looks like a cleaning basket. Okay. This looks like uh, what I have to set up, so I'll get that set up in a minute. Look at this cute little tamper that they gave me. Come on now. How can you not upgrade? I mean, listen, you could probably get you could probably get the job done with this, but I mean, come on. Oh, this is cute to scoop my coffee. Okay, this I'll probably use. This is a little brush clean the porter filter with, so I'll keep that with the stuff. A note to self, I also got a tamping bucket. I'm not a big fan of this though. It's really small and honestly, it's very cheaply made, but it's kind of my fault. I should have went with the stainless steel NSF one that you could put in the dishwasher. This one is dishwasher safe, but it just looks too small. It doesn't make sense with this, right? Like, look, look I mean, come on, look at this. It's stupid, you can fit like three pucks in there and then you gotta throw it away. I wanted something that could have at least last like two days. You know, but it's fine. It's totally my fault. It has nothing to do with them. I just t I asked them which was the um, the best knock box, you know. But I'll, I'll update to an industrial one. Okay, next I got a leveler, and I think this is a must, right? So this is after you put your grounds in. Okay, boom. This goes like that, and then you spin it to level it. Then you tamp. Speaking of the tamper, because I am 100% committed, I upgraded. I got upgraded to the Bezerra. Uh, custom tamper with to match the olive. I'm sorry. Yeah, the olive wood. This is the tamping station. I thought this was really cool. I think, you know, what's dope is it's going to be right next to the espresso machine and we'll go from there. Overall, first impression of the machine, I have to say, I got the, I love this because it's NSF. A lot of the machines in this caliber are not NSF and I think the reason why I got this machine over everything else is because one, it has the PID and um, as far as a heat exchange machine, I feel like this one was the best in category for what you get for the price compared to the Rock Rocket Apartmento and all that good stuff. Here's the thing. I really am a big fan of the knob opposed to the twist. Okay, that's just a personal preference. I feel like the knob is just more like, I don't know, it's more convenient. It's easier to use. But here's the thing. I haven't used it yet. I just used an espresso machine in the past with knobs, and I can honestly say I'm not a big fan. I'm really not a big fan of the knob, so I really like that idea. Um, then also there's the manual control and then uh, they have the preset control. And I'll be honest with my Breville machine, pretty much did manual extraction most of the time so that I can have control over the pour. And then I, what I do is I put a scale underneath. Here's the thing, my wife is completely opposite. She just wants to push the button and walk away. So that was kind of like we had to meet in the middle in that aspect, but I'm really excited to get this machine going. So uh, uh, without further ado, Man, it, like, it, it feels so good, and I'm telling you, I, I'm really excited to use this. I can't wait. But uh, I can't wait, so let's get into it. I'll start taking off some of this, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to, where to start. Okay, so this stuff just comes all off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to take all this stuff off, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so what we're doing now is we're going to go... I'm going to go 18 grams again, and uh, that's just the number that I feel comfortable with. I feel like I'm going to get a better idea with this porter filter, but we'll see. I feel like it needed more espresso grounds, but I'm not 100% sure, so we're going to find out. I switched over to the regular porter filter because I don't want any, any games, so we're going to get right into it. I really like how the coffee grinds are coming out. They're actually really nice and fluffy. Yeah, this is really, really nice. And I love how quiet it is. All right, so I'm going to show you how I do the tamping process real quick. I'm new to the whole espresso game. So with that being said, what I like to do first is level it, which uh, this is really neat, man. Look, I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. And then I'm, I'm switching to this for this exact reason right here. I didn't like the uncomfortable, like being uncomfortable while I was tamping. So light tamp, boom, I love that. Okay, looks good. Let's go back to the espresso machine. Okay, warming up. So this time I'm gonna be a little bit more diligent. So on my pool. So uh, basically what I do is I got my scale here, I'm tearing it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time this shot 
along with tearing the weight. So on this scale, I have a, it was really cheap. I got it on Amazon. I don't remember exactly what the brand is, but uh, it has a timer built in as, long, as well as a scale. So everything's teared out. What I'm looking for is 36 grams out and then about a 25 to 30 second shot. You know, obviously this varies with the um, kind of coffee beans you have and you know, the roast. I mean, it's really like, I swear to God, each coffee bean is different. I made a mistake the last one. We want to push the button all the way in for the extraction. All right. All right, so I still think it's coming out kind of fast. So I'm gonna adjust one more time. It's not looking good at all, actually. <laughs> not looking good at all. I'm gonna readjust and come back. Talking about, look at that. That's gonna be a honey shot right there, yo. Nice. I'm gonna pull it at 36 grams. And it is right there. This was perfect. So this was, so I just had to adjust the grinder. But look at that. That looks freaking beautiful, man. It was about 28, 29 seconds, 18 grams. I just adjusted the grinder a little bit finer. That was the issue. I feel good about this one. It took three tries, but I got it. And um, that's what I shoot for. So just with my experience of like digging on the internet, uh, the 18 gram range for the basket is, is uh, ideal for the double shot and the 25 to 30 second pool. But you can, you know, make some micro adjustments there. But with the installed PID, PID in here, you, you get a perfect temperature. And uh, fun fact, it was Celsius and I thought it was gonna be Fahrenheit. And I sat here for 15 minutes trying to figure out like, why is it not going past 90? And then I'm like, okay. And then I feel the machine and it's hot. So anyway, without further ado, we're gonna try this espresso. It looks great. This is freaking amazing. This is great. And, and you know what's funny? I have, a, I have a bad shot here and I have a really good shot. So I'm gonna, it's crazy. You can taste it. Like, listen, before I knew what good espresso was, I didn't know what good espresso was. And it's crazy how sweet and chocolatey and fruity this one is compared to this one. It's super sour and almost acidic. It's really awkward actually. But the crema on this one is still holding up nice. This one, basuda. And it's crazy because, listen, I hate Starbucks, but at the same time, it's really consistent. And I didn't know the difference before, but now I know the difference, and this is really good. So yeah, it's perfect. This is amazing. And I'm really happy with this machine. It's a workhorse. Oh yeah, it's really oh. <laughs> smooth. It's really good. Sorry. I don't wanna drink it, cause I wanna go to bed, yeah. but. That's good, right? It is really good. It's not yeah. sour. Look, but you know what? Try the other one. Try the other one. And you, just, you can tell, you can taste okay. the difference. This, the only difference between these two is the grind. The grind. So you'll taste it super sour at the end. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, how awesome. like, how like this one is thick like freaking honey, man. It's, it's amazing. This one's really good. And then this one is trash. And it's funny because you know when you pull the shot, if it's too fast, it's no bueno. Anyway. Okay, so I don't usually do milk with my coffee, but um, I wanted to check the steamer out. I wanted to see how it goes, so the machine's still still lit. Uh, it recommends that you purge it for a second or two, so I want to do that now. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's... Ooh, that's freaking amazing. Look at that. So uh, there's two switches, so basically this is on just for, you know, your manual. Sorry, this is manual on, and then you push it up and it stays steaming. We're gonna check out the, the power here, and I'm just gonna use a timer and see how long it actually takes to steam milk. On your mark, get set, go. Beautiful. Listen, I'm not a latte artist. I just wanted to see that it might actually be too steamed. I'm gonna let these bubbles sit for a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pour it up in here. I mean, these, bubble, these bubbles are too big, but I don't pull, <laughs> I really don't do, um, you know, cafe lattes or anything like that, so. I'm surprised at how good that coffee is. Okay, let's check out the Americano setting. So basically, same thing, water. Ooh, that, that doesn't seem like it's on all the way, okay. So it's still heating up, but, and look how, look how like even the control temperature says, and I've been using 
everything. And it literally shows you the temperature. So it tells me, look, I just pulled a couple shots and it's still at 85. So if you see that it's still 86 and it takes a couple seconds to get up there, but this is in Celsius. So keep that in mind. But I just used, I just pulled two shots. I used the steamer, which was, you know, I, pretty aggressively. And then I came over here and pulled for the Americano and it only fluctuated a couple degrees, which is, which is dope. But like I said, it's a heat exchange boiler. It's not like a dual boiler where you can make multiple espresso shots back to back. So if you made it this far, my summary for this machine is I'm overall so happy with this purchase. I could not be more happier and I'm so glad we took the jump to jump to this machine. Now, I think machines like this are very personal to your use. This machine is gonna do us perfectly. I just pulled a shot that I am so happy with. It took three tries and you know, if you are really into espresso and you like dialing in your shots, weighing the coffee, going through the process of getting different coffees, then this machine is for you. Right? You know, if you're somebody who's just just likes to drink espresso shots, you frequent Starbucks a lot, you know, I'm gonna suggest save your money and go with like the Breville Express because you know, it's just easier, it's more convenient, and honestly, there's no guesswork. It's a very easy to use machine, but I will admit it's not as rugged and sturdy and good looking as this machine here. Compared to the other machines, I can't really give you a comparison because I, you know, I don't, I haven't used those machines. I'm sure they're all probably good, but there's so many different nuances when you order an espresso machine or, and it's also a big investment. Like here's the thing I paid uh, all together. I'm going to say it was about 2,500 bucks, 24, $2,500 for everything. The grinder, the attachments, the this, the that. And for me, it's worth it. And the reason why I say that is because I love espresso. I drink espresso every single day. It's part of my morning routine. I'm very into it. But here's the thing. I had a Breville Barista Express when it first came out, like 2014 or whatever. And I'll tell you what, I rode that thing into the ground, okay? And I was pulling really good shots off of that machine, okay, with the Breville grinder. Now, I will be honest and say it is not as good as this, and this is, like night light years better and you can really dial in the shots like i mean this grinder it was just, it's just crazy to me how i adjusted this grinder and um you know it just it's a game changer it, it's totally a level up and i'm looking forward to really digging deep and getting the nuances right on this machine but that is the thing for me i went down the rabbit hole and i looked at every single machine possible and of course of course i wanted the big dual boiler one i wanted to spend the 5k and get it but ultimately the reason why i decided not to is because i don't need it i can't justify it and that's the problem like if i were to drink if i drink lattes every day or cappuccinos every day you 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 bet you but the fact of the matter is i like my coffee i like my espresso straight up i like it straight up i don't like any milk never ever I don't like, it's just not a part of like what I do. And um, the thing is, is we don't have that many guests over, right? It's just me and my wife. And she is, she just does cappuccino and lattes sometimes. You know, she literally makes her espresso shot and she just splashes milk in it and boom, she calls it a day, right? So for me, I couldn't justify the dual boiler, okay? The one thing I will say is, is I prefer plumbed. This machine does not come with that option and that's okay. That's something that I, made the decision that I was gonna part with, no problem. But I do hate filling up the water tank. It's part of my laziness. I don't wanna think about it. I'd rather have it plumbed, and that way I don't have to worry about it. For anybody that doesn't know, plumbed means that you, you can plug it straight into your water connect, right? And there's an option for that. The next machine up, the Matrix, or sorry, the Matrix, the one that I was looking at has that option, but it wasn't a deal breaker for me. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, yo, hit that like, smash the subscribe button, okay? I post videos every week, every Friday, I commit to a video. I also have a podcast, my Instagram, my TikTok is popping, so make sure you follow me over there, okay? Stop playing. Hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything over there, okay? Just go over to, it's gonna be down in the description. Go click on it, go follow me over there, okay? I post different things on different platforms. It's amazing. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Let's go.